What's up guys, it's roughly 7 a.m. and just dropped Thor off at the vet. She's getting her lady parts removed today, so it's exciting, sort of, I guess. Uh, not normally a typical day for me is like. 7 a.m. is very, very early for me, so I am going to go home and go to bed because I've still got at least a couple more hours of sleep that this body needs. Oh, don't hit me, car. Thank you. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So, it's very, very foggy today. I don't know if you can see behind me and kind of out back that back window there. That rear view mirror window thing. But uh, it, it's pretty foggy. I'm going to turn the camera so you guys can see out kind of in front here. But I mean, it's not normally this foggy in Eastvale, California. Not normally this foggy, but I'll take it. It's something new, I guess. But it's not so bad that I can't see in front of me when I'm driving. So there's that. Oh, yes. I am tired still. I'm not accustomed to waking up at 7 a.m. Everybody says it's what normal, responsible adults do and normal people do. And I'm just saying, forget that noise. There's a reason I work at a coffee shop and work the night shift. So I don't have to deal with this 7 a.m. nonsense every day. <laughs> so for those of you out there working every day or having to get up because of school at 7 a.m. and all that nonsense, kudos. Because I am not jealous at all. Alright, I'm going back to bed when I get home be home in like two minutes. I should probably focus on driving since I can only see about 30 feet in front of me. I'll catch you guys later. Hey guys, we're officially awake now. We're ready to start the day. And one of the first things I do before I do anything else is I come over here to my computer. And the video for the day, at least the first video, has gone live. So what we do is I make sure it gets shared to all the different social media that I posted on. Um, I make sure it gets on to Twitter. I make sure it gets on to Facebook. And all of those things. So, do a little bit of copy pasta. Mm. And we get all that going to so make sure it gets out to you guys so you guys can find it and hopefully enjoy it. Because what's the point of doing all this right if nobody watches it? Weird, right? I know, crazy. So after I do this, it's breakfast time. So now that we have all that done, let's see what we got for breakfast down here. And by let's see, I mean I already know what I'm having. But I have this weird love affair with breakfast cereal in that I don't typically care what cereal it is. I just like it. So today and for the next week or so, two weeks, our choice is oh yes, delicious Reese's Puffs. Along with our protein for the time. Rocking the cinnamon swirl protein at the moment by Cellucor. And then to help sure make sure that the micronutrition is on point as well. We there's the light so I can actually see now. We take these bad boys. Called Juice Plus. Basically it's a whole bunch of fruits and vegetables compressed and ground down into a capsule form. So it helps make sure our micronutrition is on point along with our macronutrition because what's the point of getting enough carbs and fats and proteins if your vitamins are lacking so you're going to get sick and then you can't go to the gym and then you can't make no gains. Okay. When we mix up our protein shakes, normally what we do is about four ounces of milk or almond milk. I'm not actually sure if you guys can see this at all because I'm not looking at my timer. And we'll also do about four ounces of water. This is all useless information that probably none of you want to know. But this is literally my life. 
Yeah. Pull the gains in. Close the gains so none of them escape. Don't want them running off. Back to the pantry with you. I'm using lots of close ups on my chin. That's for sure. And then, the final touch for our protein shake. Because I like it chilly. So, I'll add some ice cubes to it. Also helps mix it up a little bit. It doesn't need to help be mixed up. It's the beautiful thing about the Cellucor protein shakes is as long as you have this bad boy, they mix up really smoothly and they're rarely ever clumpy or grainy. Breakfast cereal is hands down one of my favorite foods of all time. I can eat a breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, dessert. There's just never enough breakfast cereal. So usually what I'm doing is uh, after I'm done eating and stuff like that, whatever it is, because I don't always do breakfast cereal. Sometimes I'm out and I have to do oatmeal, which I'm fine with. I just don't like that it's hot. I don't like hot things usually, um, except for like you know steak, pasta, stuff like that, obviously, because. Cold pasta really isn't tasty. Cold steak doesn't matter to me, I'll eat it, but typically when I'm going for breakfast stuff, I prefer like cold things. Um, but after I'm done, I'll add it all into my fitness pal. Because even though I am in the process of bulking, so typically for most people that means eat whatever I want as much as I want. Um, I'm not quite that extreme. I'm the weirdo that still tracks everything because I want to make sure. I'm not going to put on a ton of extra body fat. So, yeah. So I'm done. I'll input everything that I've had. Which usually my breakfast stays pretty much the same. Rotates between the same, like, two to three or so things. So they're already saved in there. So it doesn't take much time at all. Just when I get a new cereal, I'm going to scan it in. Which isn't a big deal. So, yep. That's usually what my mornings look like. Ooh. Try about this time. Normally my days consist of, I finish eating, this is like when I'm working, I'll eat, let my food settle for about half an hour, and then I have to hit the gym, because I'm usually having to be at work by about 3, 3.30 sometimes, sometimes a little bit earlier, depending on the day, um, oof, I'm still tired, this is not bad, and so then that's usually my rest of my day, I'm at work from, you know, 3, 3.30 till 11 o'clock, sometimes later, depending on when we close. We're open later on the weekends. Um, so when I have a day off, it's actually a little bit different, which is kind of nice. So this isn't like, I guess this is a normal day off for me, if that makes sense. But it's not like every day for me, especially because the puppy's gone right now. We have the puppy at the vet. So I would normally be playing with the puppy right about now, just kind of hanging out with her. So she knows we love her. And we feed her, all the stuff like that, because, you know, want to make sure she doesn't die of malnutrition. <laughs> Pro tip, people. If you own a pet, make sure you feed them. <laughs> but I'm thinking it's coffee time. I'm sorry about that time. So we're going to get some coffee. It's coffee time. One of my recent addictions, along with my coffee, has been this magical place. Sonny's Donuts. I don't know if you can see that properly. This place is delicious. I have a love affair in the back of my mind with crumb donuts. I don't know if you guys can see that now. Boom. I also don't know if anything's reflecting off the uh, windshield. But yeah, usually at least, I don't want to say once a day on my days off because sometimes I just don't do it. I always get coffee, but I don't always get donuts. But usually during the course of my day off, just day offs, days off, days off. I usually uh, put back a donut or two with some coffee because it's delicious. And it's a great use of uh, <laughs> carb macros. Uh, let's get donuts. We had a slight detour and change of plans. My glasses are ready. My new glasses. So I'm going to go pick those up. Normally when I get coffee, I try to 
be able to sit and enjoy it for a little bit. I'll usually eat something with it because I'm that guy that likes to eat stuff with my coffee. So in this case, I would have eaten my delicious donut with my coffee. And I'm still doing that, as you can see, maybe down there. Yeah. Yeah, my coffee. My donut. My coffee. My donut. No, yeah. But, um, I'm having to do while driving. I'm also realizing while recording a lot of this, I do a lot of driving. Holy butts. No wonder I hate driving now. Like, for someone who really likes to just kind of stay at home and mind his own business, I do a lot of driving. Jeez. So, yeah, we're on our way out to pick up our glasses. I was going to try to pick them up tomorrow, but they said they had an opening today at 1 o'clock. So, I'm racing my booty over there to try to get them. And then after that, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just go home. I might go to the gym. We'll see. We'll see what the day looks like. We'll see what it looks like. Either way, we'll go to the gym at some point today. But I want to try to get it to it today because then there's less people in there if I go this afternoon, which means I might be able to record some stuff in there, which doesn't always happen because it's usually pretty full. And I want to be sensitive to the fact that other people might not want to be recorded. So let's find out. Either way, let's get new glasses. Holy crap, I can see. <laughs> I always forget how hard I am on glasses and how much I scratch them up until I get a new pair and then it's like, oh, oh, that's what the world looks like. It's like going from black and white to vibrant 4K color. Just throwing that out there. So yeah, glasses are done, picked up. You might be saying they look exactly the same as your last ones and you would probably be right. Uh, these ones are brown, not that you actually care or that matters. But unfortunately, when you have the size and shape head that I do, this is about the only uh, type of glasses that really work for your face. I really like those like roundish ones with kind of the horns on the side and then they got like no frames underneath and stuff like that. I think they look cool, they just don't look good on me. So it's one of those I love them, they don't love me situations. Man, so we're gonna head back home and uh try to figure out what we're gonna do at this point if we're gonna go to the gym or if we are going to just chill I'll see you guys there either way so we're ready to head to the gym we got our essentials iPod headphones gym bag and water keep it pretty simple don't really have a whole lot of supplements I drink at the moment during intra workout mostly because it's hard to justify the money for them I'm about to put down an oh yeah bar before we head out just so I have a little bit extra energy since today is chest and back day. I know a lot of you guys are like thinking holy crap what is he doing without a quest bar? Well sometimes it's nice to check out the competition and that these things have like a fun coating around them to where it's not just like straight bar it's almost like it's almost like you're eating an actual brownie that has like a chocolate icing on it. Yeah it's fun to mix it up and try different stuff every once in a while. No sense in getting stuck in a rut and eating the same stuff over and over and over again. But anyways, let's head to the gym. The best thing about where I live, aside from the Pleasantville vibe it has, good old suburban America, is that literally my gym is about a two minute walk from my house. Three if I walk slow. Like, I've been walking for 30 seconds and that's the front door of the gym over there. 
townhome communities aren't all that bad. Let's be real here. It's kind of nice. It's also a very nice day outside. It's like not too warm. It's just warm enough. I don't need a jacket, but I'm not sweating. I'm okay with this. Now that we have finished at the gym, post-workout shake is consumed. I'm about eight ounces of delicious cooked sirloin. Look at that bad boy. Seared and browned on the edges, delicious on the center. And over here in our pan, we have some rice and onions cooking up in the juices and a little bit of butter that was left over from the steak. And this is going to be our post-workout meal. Quite tasty, I think. Quite tasty. Oh, you just took the food away, man. You're okay, babies. You'll get cleaned up and your stitches will heal up in a week and you'll be back to normal in no time. Back to normal in no time. Where you going, babies? Huh? What's up? Not quite feeling yourself, are you? At least you don't have the cone on. What's up? It's like she can't decide if she's asleep or awake. She's like, I'm here. I'm here. I, I got this. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Sorry. I'm exploiting you for more views again. So she is out of her surgery. We picked her up about 3.30 p.m. today. And no complications. Things went well. She was a good patient. She responded to the anesthesia very very well the only thing that was different about her was I guess there's like these uh, pathways that go from like the eggs to the, to the ovaries and all that kind of stuff like that and we won't get into the details but apparently one of hers is underdeveloped which wasn't a problem it was just different apparently it's very common in cats thus continuing to add to our theory that our corgi is half cat because of some of the things that she does you do silly things Thor you do silly things. Can you say anything to the camera? I think she's saying, why do you hate me? Biggest downside to being able to cook and take care of yourself and make delicious food, whether it's post-workout or just throughout the day because you need to eat is the dishes. Now this isn't really a whole lot of dishes because I just put some in the dishwasher, but I hate doing dishes. They suck. But we're going to get these done. Um, Hopefully keep an eye on the dog. She is resting lethargically inside of her bed at the moment. With the cone of shame on, she pretty much goes into shutdown mode when anything is around her neck. So she should be fairly easy to manage. Just gotta make sure she eats and drinks a little bit tonight and doesn't do anything too exhaustive for herself. Poor babies. Um, other than that, once I get all this done, I get to head back upstairs and hopefully uh, start working on some YouTube work slash kind of just chilling for the night. So I'll probably try to get some arenas in, get all this footage uploaded from my phone on to my computer so I can edit it up in Vegas. And then hopefully get busy on tomorrow's videos. So yeah, we'll see what else I can throw together for the rest of the day, but that's kind of how my day goes. Some things are a little bit different throughout, but pretty mellow. Nothing too crazy usually. The dog was definitely something different for the day. Um, but other than that, man, pretty simple life, pretty straightforward. Not a whole lot too exciting or crazy, but it definitely keeps me busy, that's for sure. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Hope you found this somewhat entertaining. And uh, don't forget to leave it a like if you did. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.